sunny day and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be reviewing the Hunger Games books and just a little bit about the Hunger Games movies. So, yay! The video. So, um, I read the Hunger Games uh, on winter break. It's for a 7th and 8th grade reading level. So, if you're on a 7th and 8th grade reading level, definitely recommend this book. It's very detailed and descriptive, and you definitely feel like you're in the moment or you're a fly on the wall. There's just so many moments where you're kind of like in and out of the story. It's like a shifting ocean. And I loved it so much. It just made me feel like, wow, she, this Suzanne Collins, shout out to the author, she's amazing is amazing at writing and I just feel this whole world she's created and it makes me feel actually included in this world but still here glad I'm not part of it and it may be a fast-paced book but it is written so wonderfully that the fastness just makes the story better and there are sad parts and scary parts for me at least and and that made me feel even more enveloped in this amazing world that she created just by writing a simple book just a book that you could pick up at your library and read and it blew my mind and what and there's a question you're probably thinking are the movies that good? Because you're describing these books, and normally, books like that, the movies are hard to live up to that. Well, I can tell you the movies were actually kind of better than the books. Thinking about it again, they're, yep, yeah, thinking about it more, I just think that the movies are so much better than the books because you, you actually see the world. You're more enveloped, just more, it's more descriptive because you can actually visualize the characters. Because Suzanne Collins never really describes any facial features, or well, she does, but she doesn't really describe the main character, Katniss, much. And so, these actors, they were pretty good, except for the guy that played the male lead. When my mom and I saw him for the first time, we were like, mm, no, he does not look like. But then, he was actually a really good, really good guy. So... We're going to rate the books, and we're going to rate the movies, and... <sighs> so, what would I rate the books out of five, or out of, let's say, out of ten? I would rate them a... Eight out, eight and a half out of ten. I just didn't feel like they were that good. Or, well, they were, but no. I'm going to rate them a solid nine, just a solid nine. They were really amazing, but they can't get that extra 10 because they just, they didn't, it's not what I'm used to. It's not the kind of book I'm used to, but it's also just, it's kind of, it's very, as I said, it's fast paced and that kind of contributes to the plot and makes the plot a little better, but it kind of just like, and I think the books, if they just slowed down a little bit, explained something a little bit more, then it definitely could have, um, the better book series and the movies they are also they're getting a 9.2.5 this is not probably not a number just a nine and a quarter out of ten because they were slightly better than the books okay i'm just giving them nine and a half out of ten because they were slightly slightly better than the books and that just made everything just more as I said, it more it it more enveloped you. It had more character development, more plot development, and some some uh, moments from the books. I was like, oh, this is so good. This is like totally reminiscent. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, if you're a movie person, yes, you can watch the movies, but I do recommend reading the books. Now, if you've already read The Hunger Games, this book there, this book review is probably. Useless, except for this last part, which is you should read the uh, the companion novel to The Hunger Games, 
called The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, written in President Coriolanus, Snow, Coriolanus Snow's point of view. It's very good. I haven't finished it yet, but the part, the part of uh, what I've written, re- what I've read, why do I keep saying the opposite of what I mean? Uh, the po- what I've read so far is just really great. So next, uh, next week's video will definitely be a review of this. And just have one more thing before I end this video, and that is I would like to shout out MuggleNet. I made them like a little fan art for their podcast. It says MuggleNet Podcasts because I like listening to their podcasts. And that's all, about all I do, except for this one thing which I've decided to be a part of, which is their 2021 book challenge. Yes. So they have started a little 2021 thing where they give you a prompt for a book to read a month. Of course, I've committed to reading a book a week, so I'm just going to have to include one of those in my daily or my weekly thing. So, yeah, um, but they're super fun, they give you these nice prompts, and the one for January, I'll just announce them, that way you can, if you do if you're not allowed to go on websites, um, if you're not allowed to go on other websites, well, this will help you, January's prompt is read a book that was published, uh, like, in the last year, um, so I'm reading the companion novel to the Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, because it was published last year. So go check out MuggleNet, go read the Hunger Games, and subscribe. And tell your friends who like the Hunger Games to like this video and subscribe. Because I'm getting into the YouTube intros where they say subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!